Hi guys, I'm here today because I want to teach you guys something that I think is really cool and I have some super special helpers that are going to help me today. So this is going to be a little while is that we're going to be traveling around areas to do this lesson, okay? So more to come in a minute. Hey guys, look who I found. Hi, jo Nana asked Joey and I to be um, helping her with the Bible lesson today. So, um, I'm going to be the shepherd and my God and Joey. You wake up, say hi. Wake up. Wake up. Rub your eyes. Go stretch out. You want to help Anna? Yes. And you're going to be like the children of God, his children, okay? So the Bible verse says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. You have everything? Yes. And I'm your shepherd? Then it says, He gives me rest in green pastures. Look at how sweet it is out here. Good job, Joey. Good job. Thank you. This is a verse I really like. It says, He leads me to calm waters. And look at how calm that water is. And those are the cutest kids I've seen today. Verse 3 says, He gives me strength for the good of His name. He leads me on paths that are right. Joey, do you know what that means? No? No? Okay, I'm going to explain it to you, okay? And you look at the statue here. I'll let you know kind of what it means, okay? All right. This statue here is from Nana's sister. And the statue was from years ago when, you know, Portia from church in Easton? Yes? Now, they, she gave this to them as Portia teaching Easton about the Bible and the Bible is the right things and the truth that we need to know, right? Yes. When we do right things. And he give, he gives us strength. He gives us strength. Show when, me your muscles. When we read his word, that's how we get strong every day. Yeah. What is that crazy song? Read your, your Bible, Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow. Yeah, they get stronger and stronger. And stronger. And then it says that he'll lead you in right paths. That means you won't get yourself into a bunch of trouble. No. Because he'll he'll take you places that are safe for you. Oh, that's wonderful, huh? God, Good job, wonderful. guys. Verse 4 says, Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid because you are with me. Joey, it's okay, sweetie. It's all right. Oh, sweetie, it's all right. Sweetie, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's all right, sweetie. It's okay. Settle down. Okay, you all right? Even when you go through dark times, Jesus, our Savior, our Shepherd, is always with us. Oh, the so next beautiful. part of the verse says... Your rod and your shepherd's staff comfort me. Do you know what that is? That's like this. You see this? It's a big, big sword that God's got, this hockey stick. And you know what he does with our enemies? He says, poof, 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 and they all fall over. The Bible poof. says that sometimes a bear or a wolf or a lion try to get wow. the shepherd's sheep. But the shepherd is always watching, guarding, and protecting his sheep. And if they come too close, he booyahs them. Okay? Good and job, where his guys. Sheep? Do you know that? We're his sheep. So he takes care of us. He's a good shepherd. Yes. Okay, this next part has a disclaimer. I just want to say, this is for Kids Church, and this is the best meal we could desire so it says in the next verse verse 5 you prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies joey look what i have for you 
Do you know what that says? No? It says chocolate chip cookie dough! <gasps> Is that your favorite ice cream? <gasps> Do you want to taste it? Yes! All right. Let's give you this one. Let's see if you can hold it. The ice cream here. And you see your enemies don't look too happy, do they? Look at their faces. But it's for you. All right, we're gonna have some yummy stuff, all right? All right. Okay, here's the next part of verse five. It says, you pour oil a blessing on my head. You give me more than I can hold. Joey, is this time for your part of the verse? It is? You did it all by yourself? By myself? Yeah. By yourself? All right. Okay, go ahead, Joey. Okay. What? You need me to help you with the verse? Okay. Well, what do I need to do? There's oil on your head. Wait. <gasps> oh, what's in here? Did you make this all by yourself? Joey. Oh. You want me to hold it for with you? Okay, let me see if I can get it open good. Doesn't want to open, does it? There we go. All right, I will hold. You hold this side, and I will hold this side. Oh, what does Joey! it say? That is so oh, cute. Oh, I love that beautiful smile. And look at the hearts all around. Oh, it's beautiful. God gives us joy. love and joy, Jessany. Good Did you job, give me Joey. Give Way me another to one. Go. Good job. Okay, we're at the last verse. This verse says, "Surely." Your goodness and love will be with me all of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Whoa! Do you know what that means? Forever? That means that there's a verse in the Bible that says that God went to heaven to prepare a place for us, a good place for us. So one day we're going to get Joey to be too? with him. For Well, we'll see. Okay. So he prepared a place for each of us. We'll just say that. So the thing that I was thinking is, what is God's goodness and love? You know what it is? It's think. like this, boys and girls. When we sometimes mess up and we sin oh. and we're so sad about it and we have to tell God that we're sorry, guess what he does? He's like, oh, I forgive you. He's so happy that you want to stay in relationship with him. His goodness and his love just pours out to us when we want to do what he wants us to do. And he will be with us our whole life through. Okay? All right. Now, here's the challenge. I've been thinking this week, what could we do? So the thought came to me that I'm going to have the parents Ooh, yeah. against the kids. And here's the challenge. Uh. Maybe the parents could do it first. Maybe the kids could do it first. I don't you know. are going to memorize Psalm 23. It has six verses. And whoever memorizes it first, you guys can make a video and send it to me. And then we'll see what happens, uh -oh. what this video will look like at the end when everybody turns it in. So, kids... Get to work on it and show these parents how good you are at memorizing God's word. And parents, we're cheering for you too because you know what? It says we have hidden God's word in our heart that we might not sin against him. That's the whole reason why we read God's word so we can learn to follow in his good paths for our life. Okay, boys and girls, we miss you. You guys have a great week. Joey, can you say bye? Knuckles, Knuckles from Joey. Knuckles Jen, from Nana. can you tell him bye? Knuckles for Nana. Knuckles, Knuckles for me. Knuckles for me. Okay. Love you guys. Bye, love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.